Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. On today's episode, we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 4, verses 10 through 19. Follow along with me in your Bible as I read Proverbs 4, verses 10 through 19. Hear, my son, and accept my sayings, and the years of your life will be many. I have directed you in the way of wisdom. I have led you in upright paths. When you walk, your steps will not be impeded, and if you run, you will not stumble. Take hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked, and do not proceed in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Do not pass by it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they do evil, and they are robbed of sleep unless they make someone stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn that shines brighter and brighter until the full day. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. In this passage, as we'll see many times in the book of Proverbs, you have a contrast being drawn between wisdom and folly. And this passage really shows us that wisdom and folly are as different as night and day or light and darkness. And I just want to point out a few things that this section highlights by way of contrast. First is that wisdom prolongs life whereas foolishness shortens life. We've seen this already in the Proverbs, and we'll see it again, but it's a a consistent teaching. Wisdom leads to a longer life. Foolishness leads to a shorter life. We also see from this that wisdom directs and speeds up our steps, whereas folly is a cover for stumbling blocks. Folly becomes something over which the fool stumbles. We also see that wisdom brings rest, whereas folly brings sleepless nights. This is one of the great uh, truths of Proverbs that we often overlook. The idea of living a wise, diligent, generous, hardworking, but um, faithful life leads to good, healthy sleep, whereas the fool is is tossing on back and forth on his bed at night. Wisdom leads us to rest whereas folly leads to restlessness. And then lastly, we see that wisdom brings joyous expectations. The person who is walking in the path of wisdom walks in a path that is getting brighter and brighter until the fullness of day comes. That is a a joyous expectation of the outcome of wisdom. But the fool is even naive to see that the dread that comes from his folly, his Folly will lead to nothing but darkness, and he doesn't even understand over which he stumbles. Friends, again, this passage highlights for us that there is a great contrast between wisdom and folly. And again, that points us to what this passage starts with, him calling on his son yet again to hear his instruction and to pursue wisdom. I pray that this is an encouragement to you today to pursue wisdom. I love you, Grace community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.